Ken Sachs here, Spokane, Washington. An article just came out two days ago, the five costliest mistakes first-time home buyers are making. But don't think that just first-time home buyers can make these mistakes. I've had these conversations with people who've bought many homes. The first costliest mistake, folks aren't putting enough emphasis into their credit score. And do you know based on a $200,000 home, an 80 point drop in your credit score can affect your payment by as much as $124 a month. That $124 a month is about $1,500 a year. And over a 30 year term, $45,000. So what we wanna do is we wanna do everything possible to have the best score possible when it's time to buy our home because that'll give us our lowest interest rate which will give us our lowest payment. So talk to your lender about that as early as possible when you know you're going to be buying a home. The second costliest mistake is buyers are running out and buying sofas and furniture for that new home that they don't own yet or they're buying that new car before closing on their home. Well lenders are going to be checking your credit score all the way up until you close and purchasing those types of items that can take a real beating on your credit score and we already discussed what that's going to do to your pocketbook if you even still qualify for that home after purchasing those items. The third thing is buyers aren't putting a lot of emphasis on the home inspection. Well, you know, I don't really want to pay $300 for a home inspection for the $200,000 house I'm buying. A $300 home inspection for the most expensive investment you'll probably make in your life. Well, you know, my Uncle Eddie, he changed the wax ring on my toilet, so I think he can do my home inspection. Think again, a good home inspector is going to go through your heating, ventilation, air conditioning, your electrical, your plumbing, your roof. They're going to go through a lot of things that you may not even know there's an issue with until months down the road after you own the home and after it's now your problem. The fourth thing is buyers are buying without contingencies. Well, that contingency, consider that you're out. And why would you want to get out? If there's a problem. If there's a problem with your financing, if there's a problem with the home inspection, you want out. And to get out, you don't want it to cost you earnest money. So think about that. And the last thing, no money for insurance. You're not thinking about the insurance you're going to have to put on the home. So okay, I'm approved for an $800 a month payment, well factor in your insurance. And while you're doing that, factor in your property taxes. So best bet on that one is start talking to an insurance agent as soon as possible so you have a good understanding what your insurance payment's gonna be. Those, that's it, those are the five costliest mistakes. Ken Sachs, Coldwell Banker Northwest Group, home of the free handyman for life.